Hurricane Gonzalo blacks out most of Bermuda Hurricane Gonzalo swept by the Eastern Caribbean earlier this week before heading north towards Bermuda. Hurricane Gonzalo has roared through Bermuda, cutting power to most of its inhabitants and threatening floods. Emergency services are waiting for daybreak to assess the full damage wreaked by the second powerful storm to strike the island in less than a week. Strong winds and heavy surf continued after the eye of the hurricane moved north into the Atlantic, and tidal surges are still possible. Top wind speeds of about 175 km h 110 mph were reported. Bermuda, an affluent British overseas territory in the western Atlantic, frequently sees strong tropical storms. Just days ago, Tropical Storm Fay damaged homes and knocked down trees and power lines on the island. To be struck twice by two different cyclones is unusual, to say the least, said Max Mayfield, the former director of the U.S. National Hurricane Center in Miami. One person died in the Dutch territory of St. Martin after Gonzalo passed over the Caribbean. Wave threat terrified Icelanders sheltered in darkness from Gonzalo as power was cut to some 31,200 homes, accounting for most of the island's 64,900 residents, Bermuda's Royal Gazette said in a report. People reported destroyed porches and other damage while part of the roof at the main hospital was damaged and there was water damage in the new intensive care unit. Police spokesman Dwayne Keynes was quoted as saying by AP News Agency. Flooding and storm surges were being reported as fallen trees blocked roads over large areas, according to the Royal Gazette. Water damage especially from the wave action will take the biggest toll, Mr. Mayfield predicted. With initial wind speeds of 205 km h, Gonzalo was labeled as a Category 4 storm on Thursday but downgraded to Category 3, then 2, on Friday. The storm is being compared to Hurricane Fabian in 2003, the most powerful storm to hit the territory in 50 years. The winds then reached the same speed as Hurricane Gonzalo, and caused damage of about $300 m pounds, 187.3 m. m.